Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for October 9th through the 15th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Whispers of Love Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me how does Pisces feel about the person on their mind? You feel like they're breadcrumbing you, they lied to you, and you see it. Um, some of you saw a message, or you saw it clearly through their message, or through their message you saw, like you read between the lines. Um, Five of Swords, Justice card in reverse, the Judgment card. There's also conflict between the two of you, and there's definitely an imbalance here, and feeling that... Um, can this be saved? I don't know, right? So we will have to take a look and clarify and then get to the end of the outcome of what, you know, is to happen between the two of you here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about you. They're feeling the pain of this situation. Um, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. And just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting for you. Um, they want things to work out between the two of you. But they feel this is over. And they've looked at it and they just keep reflecting on something like, We were happy though, you know, but we were happy. Because that Four of Swords, they feel a little bit blindsided with the way that they're in limbo and kind of looking at things like what went wrong to cause this ending. Um, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hangman, even uh, what went wrong to for things to get this bad. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the connection between you and this person. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, the um, World card, King of Wands, and the Sun coming out. And the connection, I mean, it's showing some really good energies here. And the Sun is well at the bottom of the deck. So I'm just seeing, you know, Destiny playing its part here. And things completing in a situation where there was a lot of happiness or um, that there's a completion onto the next chapter and there's motivation towards growth, maybe growth from this situation, maybe you two growing from whatever happened here. Now, you know, this person feels that it's over. So let's go ahead and take a look and start clarifying. We're gonna start with this five of swords here. Yeah, you felt that this person was playing mind games with you and that you're too mature for this and you know you you've grown too much in life. You some of you are like, I have children and a life and this and that and the other. I don't have time for this. Um King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Sun, as well as the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So feeling like they are playing these games. When you two are supposed to be both grown here, this person's moving slow at this Knight of Pentacles, and you're ready to move towards, you know, being happy with someone. 
um, and everything might have been good at one point, but it does feel like you you felt they were going too slow or not moving at all. Let's clarify the justice card in reverse. y'all feel lied to I've, i'm getting like a divorce here as well for some it just is coming out that way and seeing things clearly like they just played games and wanted to be with me for this reason that reason and the other and then turn around and and do this or not want to be together anymore um the king of swords the ten of pentacles and the strength card as well as the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck there's also the fact that you might not trust this person you're analyzing things thoroughly with how much they want or wanted a relationship um and held back from giving that to them because they were rushing towards it which made you feel that there were red flags there because they were inconsistent from the start so they want your attention then they don't want your attention they want your attention pisces okay um, but you feel like there's, you know, this person was not honest and you want the truth from them. You don't know that you would get the truth from them. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the judgment card. Okay, um, judgment card is clarified by the four of pentacles, the chariot, and the five of pentacles, as well as the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you going through a divorce here and seeing that this person's true intentions was to invest in you long enough to take you for your money and when you thought it was love this is something that you will not ever allow again and i'm sorry pisces for those of you that are going through that because that's horrible to be with somebody and then do these things to them but i know that it does happen um <clears throat> for others of you i am seeing that this as a uh, an awakening kind of like seeing things in a different light and not letting go of the fact that you are ready to move on move away quickly um, and accept the loss and abandon this situation because you will be happier moving on from um, something that just didn't feel good. Some of you also feel like this person lied to you about being, maybe they were the ones being married to somebody else. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ten of Swords. They feel that you hurt them. Now, I don't know what happened in this situation, but they are feeling like, you know, this is over. This hurts so bad that you betrayed them. Um, they feel betrayed by you and they're not going to put up with it. They either are going to tell the world or they're just going to close out this chapter here. It does look like, you know, they're feeling really hurt. Um, and stuck in their mind about, you know, the things that happened and conspired how they feel about it is like i can't believe this and they feel they got hurt um that you caused this let's go ahead and clarify the seven of pentacles you and this person are the only ones that will really know what happened um, but there are two sides to every story They evaluate the situation between you and them and how 
there was this union and then all of a sudden there was this lack and break in communication um, but there was still love there so it's like there might have been kisses and, and comfort and things like that but there wasn't a lot of talking like that changed or something about that changed they don't know what went wrong they, it's something that they want to talk about in limbo. Like, I really want to know what went wrong because um, as much as they're like, I won't put up with this and I'm just going to move on and it hurts and feeling bet like betrayed or like this is really over, it's tough for this person to move on. Okay, so the hangman is clarified by the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, as well as the Death card at the bottom of the deck. It does look like a personal experience for this person that they are in limbo with moving on because they have not um, accepted or experienced the lesson, spiritual lesson of this situation between you and them. They put too much worry in waiting, um, even though things are over. It's like they're expecting something to change here, but it's not. It's like they're not learning that. Let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person. through everything like this person wants to reconcile with you which is very shocking and surprising to you and has you really in your head like wait what after everything uh three of cups the tower and the eight of swords coming out as well as the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck right here let's go ahead and Get some messages for you, Pisces. You usually don't have drama like this in your readings, but, you know, everyone has relationship drama and drama in their life, but not like this. You usually don't have something like this, but it happens. I understand. Just saying, like, I'm sorry you're going through that, that this situation is happening. Whoa. Okay. So we have quite a few messages that came out for you. Sorry. First one is going to be love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Um, and I'm going to say that love starts with you. It all starts with us first. So, you know, give that love to yourself first. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Okay. And turn your heart Turn on your heart light. It says, reflect on a time when you experienced love. And it felt really nice and, you know, that warm feeling and, and just get back to making yourself feel that all over again um, after going through this situation here. So be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel always, always, always. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.